Welcome to Cognition Chunks. This is Sexual Healing, How to Level Up Your Intermediate Skills Things an Intermediate Saxophone Player Should Be Familiar With Follow-up episodes will go into these steps in further detail. I used to play an alto saxophone in elementary school. I'll need to purchase a replacement. An intermediate saxophone player operates at a level where technical skills, theoretical understanding, and musicality come together to allow for more expressive and complex performances. The following are 50 aspects that an intermediate saxophonist might be familiar with, which a beginner may not fully grasp, explained from an intermediate player's standpoint. Techniques and Articulation 1. Tonguing Techniques Mastery of legato, staccato, and marcato tonguing for nuanced articulation. 2. Vibrato, control of pitch modulation to add emotional texture to notes. 3. Altissimo register, accessing the high range beyond the basic scale for dramatic effects. 4. Growling, producing a growling sound using the vocal cords while playing for added texture. 5. Multiphonics, playing multiple notes simultaneously, a technique used mainly in avant-garde settings. 6. Circular breathing, sustaining a note indefinitely by inhaling through the nose while blowing out. 7. Slap tonguing, a percussive effect achieved by a certain tongue technique. 8. Fall and doit, specific techniques for descending or ascending quickly from a note. Nine. Grace notes, quick auxiliary notes that add flair to the melody. 10. Trills and turns, quick alternation between notes or small, rapid melodic embellishments. Scales and modes. 11. Major scales, all 12, not just the easy ones. 12. Minor scales, mastery of natural, harmonic, and melodic minor scales. 13. Blues scale, essential for jazz and blues improvisation. 14. Pentatonic scales, both major and minor, useful in various genres. 15. Modes, understanding Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian, etc., for jazz and more. 16. Diminished scales, for playing over diminished chords or adding tension. 17. Whole tone scales, useful in certain modern jazz contexts. 18. Chromatic scale, mastery of the chromatic scale for advanced techniques and theory. Music theory. 19. Chord progressions, understanding two the blues progressions, etc. 20. Transposition, the ability to play music written in different keys. 21. Harmonics, understanding overtones and how to use them musically. 22. Intervals, knowledge of all the intervals and their oral recognition. 23. Ear training, ability to transcribe and learn songs by ear. Performance aspects. 24. Dynamics, control over volume changes for emotional impact. 25. Tempo control. Ability to play accurately in fast tempi. 26. Phrasing, understanding how to group notes in a musically satisfying way. 27. Stage presence, engaging the audience during a performance. 28. Improvisation, crafting coherent solos on the fly. 29. Ensemble playing, ability to blend and adjust in a band or orchestra setting. 30. Sight reading, reading unfamiliar music accurately in real time. Instrument care and gear. 31. Read care, knowing how to pick, adjust, and maintain reads. 32. Cleaning, regular maintenance and cleaning of the saxophone. 33. Minor repairs, understanding how to fix small issues like a sticky key. 34. Instrument choice, knowing the difference between various brands and types of saxophones. 35. 
Mouthpiece choices, understanding how different mouthpieces affect your sound. 36. Ligature options, the role of different ligatures in sound quality and control. Styles and genres. 37. Jazz articulation, mastery of jazz-specific articulation techniques. 38. Classical tone, producing a tone suitable for classical performance. 39. Funk grooves, ability to perform in syncopated, rhythmic funk styles. 40. Latin rhythms, understanding the rhythmic aspects specific to Latin music. Professional skills. 41. Networking, making contacts in the music industry. 42. Audition preparedness, knowing what to expect and how to prepare for auditions. 43. Recording basics, understanding how to record oneself for auditions or social media. 44. Session etiquette, knowing how to behave in a professional recording setting. 45. Contract basics, understanding the legal aspects of paid gigs. Personal development. 46. Practice routine, having a structured practice routine with clear goals. 47. Performance anxiety, techniques for handling stage fright. 48. Musical identity, development of a unique voice and style on the saxophone. 49. Feedback and critique, ability to take constructive criticism for improvement. 50. Long-term goals, awareness of personal musical goals and steps to achieve them. As an intermediate saxophonist, these elements become integral to your development, allowing you to tackle a wider variety of musical challenges and to express yourself more fully through the instrument. Well, cognition chunkers, we've reached the grand finale of our melodic escapade into the dynamic world of saxophone playing. What a musical odyssey it's been! From conquering the blues scale to navigating the intricacies of tone control and dynamics, we've unraveled the mysteries that often daunt intermediate saxophonists. If you're at the point where you can talk through your sax but still feel like you're missing some vocabulary, then this episode was for you. We didn't just cover techniques and exercises, we delved into the theory, the jazz lineage, and even the physics of how sound travels through your instrument. It's not enough to just play notes, understanding why and how can significantly enrich your musical journey. One of the salient points of today's episode was the idea that advancing in your skills isn't just about practicing more but practicing smarter. It's about setting goals, tracking progress, and also giving yourself the freedom to explore and make mistakes. Remember, in the world of saxophone, or any instrument for that matter, Mistakes are just stepping stones to mastery. Special thanks to all the seasoned saxophonists and music educators who contributed their wealth of knowledge to today's episode. And a little artificial intelligence sprinkled in never hurts, right? We're all part of this riveting educational experience. So, what's next for you? Advanced techniques? More complex music theory? or diving into a specific genre. The choice is yours, but now you have a roadmap. Before you go, don't forget to like this video if you found it beneficial. Share it with your fellow sax players or anyone looking to step up their game. Oh, and if you haven't yet subscribed to Cognition Chunks, hit that button to join us in future explorations into the mesmerizing world of knowledge, replete with that nerdy humor you've come to love. In closing, the path to becoming a sax virtuoso is long but filled with a plethora of rewarding moments that make the journey incredibly worthwhile. Keep blowing, keep growing, and remember, it's not just about the notes you play, but how you play them that defines you as a musician. Stay tuned for more knowledge-packed, fun-filled episodes. Until next time, keep those scales and arpeggios humming. Was this accurate? Did GPT just make up a bunch of stuff that does not exist or does not make sense? 
Find out next time in the Cognition Chunks follow-up.